What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go over an issue that I'm having with the FZ07 right now. This can help pretty much any bike out there on the road uh, if you're having a similar issue. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into the video because it is hot as Hades butthole out here in Florida. So you can already see where we're heading here. We got some electrical issues, but to give you guys a little bit of a backstory real fast, Basically what happened is uh, a week ago, just before I started my vacation, I just got back from vacation a couple days ago, uh, I went to go do my advanced rider course for the military. We have to renew this like every five years. And while I was out there towards the end of the course, I started having some hard starting issues and then eventually the bike didn't want to start at all. And I actually had to be pushed and uh, dump the clutch in second gear in order to basically jump the bike manually. Uh, a couple times to finish the course out because if I couldn't finish the course I would actually have to take it all over again Which would suck. So eventually when the bike finally just fully quit wanting to start on its own I finally got a check engine code and so what came up on the dash Which isn't actually showing up right now because I think the bike's just been sitting a while And I think the code only really shows up right after the issue shows its face I got this code that said 5d underscore 49 which is a charging issue with the motorcycle so this charging issue could be anything from the battery it could be the stator or it could be the regulator rectifier and the stator is behind the cover there and you really don't want to have an issue with the stator that is the most painful of all of these to replace obviously the battery being the easiest followed by the regulator rectifier which is just plugged in right there not too hard to install so i'm going to show you guys what's going on real quick so i'm going to turn my voltmeter on and you can see the battery's sitting around 12.04 volts right now uh, i didn't have it on the charger while i was gone but i'm going to go ahead and fire up the bike really short because the garage door is closed and you're going to see what happens the bike should charge to around 13 13.2 volts but just take a look at this so you can see it's dropped because the bike's powered on, that's normal. like it was charging normally correct well all of a sudden the voltage started to drop and that's not good so the voltage dropped to back around 12 volts again and then when I revved the bike you saw it actually dip into the high 11s and that's because the motor you know it's pulling power to fire off the spark plugs and all that good stuff and all the sensors that are in there the headlight the tail light all the electronics are now you know they're pulling power from the battery and zero charge is making its way back to the battery. So the battery is just draining and it's not getting replenished from our charging system, which consists of the stator and the regulator rectifier. So this item right here, this is our regulator rectifier. So essentially what's happening here is while the motorcycle is running, the stator has magnets on a rotor down here and they're producing an electrical charge and then they're sending it up the wires up to the regulator rectifier our gray plug here is the one that's coming directly from the stator and our black wire here which is a two piece wire and this one over here is three pieces the three wires should be the dead giveaway that this is from your stator because it is a three phase system and these are just positive and negative from the regulator rectifier and this is what's sending voltage back to the battery so current comes out of your stator in ac voltage it comes up to the regulator rectifier which converts the power from ac voltage to dc voltage and then sends the dc voltage to your battery and keeps your battery maintained and it helps replenish you know the battery and then make sure that there's enough power reaching all the systems of your motorcycle and if this is going bad one of the telltale signs is your battery could overcharge or in my case it's undercharging and the scary thing about undercharging is is it kind of tells you there could be an issue with the stator and the stator is way more expensive and it's a little more complicated to replace because it's behind the engine case cover and it's got a, ho a whole lot more going on behind there but i'm going to tell you how i kind of figured out how the regulator rectifier was my issue 
And thankfully I had previous experience from the Duke 990 that I had. I had a similar issue to this where the battery wasn't charging and when I would rev the bike, the voltage would drop instead of going up. Because when you rev the bike to about 5,000 RPM, it should go roughly around four, no more than 14 and a half volts at the battery. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna show you how you test the regular rectifier and I'm also gonna show you how you test the stator. So obviously to test any electrical systems, you're gonna wanna have a voltmeter like this. This is a cheap one from Harbor Freight, which <laughs> they're like six bucks. I would maybe recommend having a slightly better one than this, but this will do the job in a pinch. So right here we have our stator plug unplugged and you can see there's three connectors in here. And in order to test this, the manual tells you that you need to check the resistance between all three of these prongs. So basically you'll put the negative from your voltmeter in one and a positive in the other. And while the negative is still like say in the left port, you're gonna test this one with the positive. And then you're gonna move your negative one over to the middle, test this one with your positive, then test this one with your positive. Then you're gonna move the negative to the far one and you're gonna test this with your positive and this with your positive. And what you wanna see here is no more, or you wanna see a range between 0 0.129 and 0 0.192 as far as resistance goes. And if you're not familiar with a voltmeter, resistance is your ohms symbol right here, the omega symbol. So you're gonna to wanna to flip this down and it's usually recommended to start in the lowest setting. And so if you read it here and you're not getting anything accurate, go ahead and switch it over to 2000 and then 20,000 and then so on and so forth until you're in the range that you can see the readings that you're looking for. Now this cheap meter, the reason why I said you might want a better one is for some odd reason, I can only get uh, a proper reading. I wanna say in the 20 case, it comes up to like 0 0.1 on the dot and all three of them are equal. And that's what you're looking for. You want the resistance in these to be relatively equal, but at least within the range that you're looking for. So all three of mine came up uh, zero, yeah, 0 0.1. And so I was like, okay, I can't see the 0 0.128 or the 0 0.192 range, but I know that they're not higher or lower than that or else the meter would read 0 0.0 or 0 0.2. So I was comfortable saying, okay, I think the stator is okay. But I took an extra step and what I did was I took my voltmeter and I turned it over to AC voltage here. And you can see one reads like high voltage or whatever that is. I put it over here in the 200 range for AC voltage and I went ahead and fired up the bike while this was unplugged. And then I took a negative lead and put it here, put the positive lead in the middle and it was reading 18.8 .8 volts at idle. Uh, that's AC voltage. And then I did basically the same thing like I'm testing ohms. I switched the negative through each one and tested the rest of them with the positive. And each one of them were reading equally around the 18.8 .8 volts AC voltage. And I went ahead, <clears throat> it was really hard, you know, doing this by myself. It's, it's nice to have an extra set of hands if you have it. But I had the bike revved up just a little bit and they shot up into like the 30,000, the mid 30, uh, not 30,000, but they shot up into like the mid 30 uh, AC voltage range, which is good. It means the voltage increases with the revs, which is what you want. Because if you're not seeing equal voltage through these or they're not increasing with revs, that's bad. So that's basically how I tested the stator and figured out the stator is fine. So the next thing we have to do is test the uh, DC side of our regulated rectifier. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna undo this plug. And in here, you can see we only have two connectors. There are three ports, but only two of them are connected. And if you look at the colors, you have a positive lead and a negative lead because these come right over here to your battery and make up these two cables right here. And this is what is feeding a charge back to your battery. So coming back over to this port, you can't read anything from here because if you do, all you're gonna be reading is the battery coming backwards. So in order to test the DC side of this regulator rectifier, you need to come up in here. Let me see if I can use a light real quick. I know it's hard to see because the camera's out of focus, but you can see two little silver prongs in there. Those are your positive and negative leads. So basically what you wanna do at this point is you wanna take your voltmeter and you wanna put it to DC voltage in the 20 range. And then while the bike is running yet again, you're gonna fire it up. No charge will be going to the battery, but make sure that your stator plug is plugged in because you need this to feed 
a charge to your regulator rectifier while you're testing this. You're gonna put your positive lead from your voltmeter on the positive side. Just look at the plug. You can see that that one's on the left and then your negative one's gonna go on the other one. And it's kind of difficult to show you just because of how this is sitting. So while the bike is running, you wanna measure the DC voltage coming out of here. Remember DC, not AC. When I measured mine, it was only reading about eight to nine volts. So that tells me that while there is a ton of AC voltage coming in here, you know, 18, whatever at idle and 30 plus while it's being revved, whatever's going on in here is not allowing the DC voltage to come out of here at a rate that will charge the battery. It needs to be coming out of here at least, you know, in the 13 volt range while it's at idle and then up to 14 and a half volts uh, while it's uh, being revved. So that told me that something is going wrong with the regulator rectifier. So I went ahead and I jumped on uh, the internet and looked for a replacement. I was gonna order one from Amazon, but I decided to go on to eBay and I actually found a used one from a 2017. And that's just another thing to note, make sure that you're buying the proper regulator rectifier for the year and make and model for your bike. You can't just use any old thing. On Amazon, they run around the 40 to $60 mark. And the one that I used in my Duke 990 was made by DB Electrical. And I was gonna order that one off of Amazon for this. But since I found the used one on eBay and it was OEM for around 40 bucks, I went ahead and ordered that instead. Uh, but I'll place a link for the DB electrical one in the description below so that if you're having this issue and need to replace this, you can order the one from Amazon. And like I said, I used the DB electrical one on my 990 and it worked perfectly. That's who I would have went with instead. Be cautious of who you're buying from because a lot of the Chinese stuff out there, they'll only last maybe a few hundred miles or you might get lucky and they'll last you a couple years. You just never know. But OEM is usually the way to go, but a factory one brand new is in the $200 range. So I'd jump on eBay and look for a used one if you can. Now, my new one is due to show up in the mail today, sometime in the next couple hours. So we'll jump back in here to the video and I will show you guys what should be going on once I get this replaced. All right, so it actually only took about 30 minutes after I shut the video off for uh, USPS to arrive with my uh, brand new regulator rectifier and we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the results so here is the original regulator rectifier you can see the part number on the top there I've got my voltmeter already set onto our battery all we're gonna do is we're gonna fire up the bike and we're gonna look to see that the battery is charging and that it stays charging you saw in the previous clip at the beginning of the video that it did start to charge and then all of a sudden stopped charging and the battery voltage began to drop. We're gonna give the bike a couple revs and we're gonna make sure that the state of charge goes up and not down. And here is the regulator rectifier that I got off of eBay. It is a little more weathered uh, on the outside than uh, mine was, but no big deal. As long as it works, that's all that matters. So let's go ahead and get this thing fired up. So key on, we'll see a little bit of voltage drop, that's fine. And let's go ahead and fire it up. We're charging. So far, so good. guys there you have it you saw the voltmeter yourself uh, the bike sat there and idled for like a solid five minutes and it stayed right at about 14 volts 13.9 volts here and there I gave the bike a few revs it shot up just a little bit but never let the battery go beyond 14 and a half volts which is what you want you do not want it to overcharge if you see your battery creeping up there into like the 15 volt range something's wrong and it, that's pretty much the regulator rectifier failing in the opposite direction fortunately enough for me this was not a stator problem i'm super grateful for that so 
uh, 40 bucks, uh, 45 bucks after shipping or something like that. Got us all back on the road. Shout out to Mel's Motorsport Parts on eBay for getting this out to me super quick. I ordered it on Friday and it showed up here on Monday. And that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys found this information useful. And if you're having uh, charging or electrical issues with your motorcycle, just use these steps and get it diagnosed and figure out what it is that you need to replace. Some people jump right into the stator and that's not their permanent issue. The issue could be the cheaper regulator rectifier. So as I said, I hope you guys found this information useful. If you liked this video, leave a like on it for me, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. I'm still working on getting a camera for my helmet. Uh, it may take a little bit of time because I just spent some money on vacation and that kind of good stuff, but I will see you guys in some future videos as we go over all of the modifications and the tuning that we did to the motorcycle, and I'll give you guys my thoughts on that. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next video.